Hey everybody, welcome to GGS Railways. My name is Greg, this is my YouTube channel. All right, tonight we've got something kind of special for you guys. Uh, got an unboxing and it's a little bit special because this little box right here has been all over. It got lost in the U.S. Postal System. It has been to a number of post offices. Fortunately, it arrived at the correct post office and I was able to pick it up today. So I'm hoping that the contents of this box is gonna be okay, because like I said, it has been pretty much all over the United States by air. Anyway, let's see what we got here. All right, I'm excited. Uh, I haven't finished making the, or finished, you know, editing the videos yet, but I did a bunch of box unboxings last night. <clears throat> And that's when I realized that I didn't yet have this, and so I kind of panicked and uh, started calling around <laughs> trying to find out where this was, and uh, we finally did find it. It has been floating around since November 13th. Wow. <laughs> All right, so there's the receipt. We definitely don't need that. Uh, okay, so we got the, the styrofoam peanuts here. I'm not ever sure exactly what to do with those uh, as far as not making a big mess. All right, I'm gonna get everything out of the box and we'll, then we'll unwrap it because I, I know it's in here and I'm hoping it's as cool as it looked uh, <laughs> on the uh, online auction, you know how that goes. Uh, <laughs> but I, I don't think anything was like Photoshopped or anything like that. Uh, I will tell you that this is a Mark's locomotive. I believe it's a tender and I believe a caboose. So I will, I'll hint you in on that uh, until we get unwrapped and show you. Uh, if you read my uh, community post, you already know what it is. <laughs> so there you go. Those in the know. All right, so that's all that was in this box. Now I'm gonna put the box aside so it's not in our way. So all right, I'm gonna start with the largest package here, which I assume is the locomotive. And we'll try to figure out where the, where the shenanigans on the wrapping starts here. So, all right. I think I need to make t-shirts that have shenanigans on it. <laughs> shenanigans, yes. All right. Seems to be my favorite word as of, as of late. All right, this is uh, one course of uh, bubble wrap and a Scott towel. Wow. Uh, <laughs> this poor guy traveled all over in uh, some rather interesting uh, packing. So, all right, you guys ready for this? This is probably gonna look pretty cool. If it doesn't look pretty cool, I'm gonna be kind of disappointed because I've been waiting for a while and uh, the anticipation sometimes is pretty, pretty great, uh, especially if you're me. <laughs> all right, there we go. It is a beauty, it is blue. Uh, this is a Mark's locomotive. It obviously has been repainted. Um, I know how some of you guys feel about repainting, but we don't know what this looked like before. And besides, it looks really, really sharp. I'm just here to tell you that the pictures online did not do it justice. <laughs> this is this is like, wow. So they numbered it 994. I don't know if there actually is a Marks 994. I somewhat doubt it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll zoom in on all this uh, real close here in a minute. But this guy is stunning. Wow. This is actually nicer than I was was even hoping for so let's see i'm gonna open this one next i'm not sure if this is the uh the tender or the caboose but uh get it open we'll see so i had to switch to a different uh, box knife uh tonight the uh well you don't know this yet because you haven't seen the the unboxing videos from last night because i haven't processed them yet but uh the, the box cutter that I had last night was just horrendous. Wow. I mean, it was, ugh. I think you could have cut it easier with a, with a butter knife. All right, here we go. So this is, in fact, the uh, caboose. Once again, it has been repainted. And once again, that is really, really <laughs> sharp looking. So I have a plan for this stuff, and I will, I will talk about that here in a minute, just as soon as we get this, uh, this unbox. So, so stay tuned for that. Um, let's see, uh, it would have been, Better if this had arrived when it was supposed to, and I'll explain that in just a minute. So, all right, let's get this guy open. I assume this is probably the tender. Uh, actually, if it's not the tender, we're in trouble because <laughs> it's only supposed to be three uh, three pieces, and the tender was supposed to be one of those three. So, uh, 
If this isn't a tender, well, that's a big surprise. So, all right, it does feel like a tender, though. Um, so, I'm really happy, and I, maybe I shouldn't say this yet, so I'm not going to say it yet. I'll, I'll wait till I get this, this un unpacked fully. Wow. This, guys, this is amazing. This is just stunning, stunning, stunning. Let's see if I can get the, the trucks to turn to where they're supposed to be. So this has got this has got the butterfly couplers. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. All right. Well, that is just really freaking cool. Of course, now I can't get the couplers that I just said were really cool to even work, but uh, I may have to have to do a little something there. So, all right. Oh, does it have, oh, it has a couple on the other end as well. So, let's see. Perhaps that's this. There we go. There we go. So, I'm going to get this zoomed in so we can all take a look and talk about it a little more. And I'm going to show you what I had planned and why it was kind of a disappoint, disappointment to me that it, it arrived late. Okay, guys, I got this zoomed in so we can talk about it. I think you guys can agree that this is really, really sharp. <laughs> this this might be the sharpest uh, Mark's locomotive I believe I've ever seen. The, the gold, the blue, the black, these were all excellent choices on the colors. Um, it's somewhat reminiscent, I mean, kind of, sort of, don't, don't, <laughs> don't, don't shoot me for what I'm about to say, but it's a little bit reminiscent of my Blue Comet set. Uh, it marks <laughs> so that's really cool I really I really really like this it's got the uh, let's see if I can do this without messing anything up it's got the the new red uh, for the smokestack and just just really it's really nicely done I'm I'm pretty impressed so let's talk about the reason why I was disappointed that this came late um, well, I mean, there for a minute there, I was <laughs> wondering if I was going to get it at all. So, you might notice that this is a bright color of blue. It's a very nice blue. Uh, what I had thought I would do, and I actually bought something else to do this, or a couple of something else's to do this, I thought I might... Uh, we'll, we'll use the caboose, obviously, but what I thought I might do, and this was around when it was about you know, Veterans Day, and I got these guys that are, for all intents and purposes, pretty much garbage. Uh, <laughs> these are uh, also marks. They are uh, 10. They are old, but they are pretty much almost worthless because the graphics are pretty much gone. The paint's pretty much gone. Uh, so what I was thinking was for Veterans Day, what I was going to do is uh, I figured, okay, we got the blue locomotive, then I might paint this guy white. Of course, I might paint the caboose red, and then we would have a red, white, and blue train. And I thought that might be really, really cool. So anyway, that didn't happen, So, but there's always next year, and of course, you know, July 4th coming up, and so forth and so on. So I've been talking about <laughs> not having anything red, white, and blue for a while now, and all of a sudden I have more than a few things, but uh, I haven't shown you some of that either yet, so I won't spoil that for you. So anyway, I think we ought to take, uh, not these guys, but the new stuff, or the blue stuff, there you go. And I think we ought to take it in there on the track. And uh, I haven't seen if this runs yet, so you guys will know when I know. <laughs> and uh, see if it goes, see if it runs as nice as it looks. Uh, I will take a moment between now and when I put it on the track to make sure that it's got lubrication and, I won't service it in any other way, just you know, so no, so as not to spoil the surprise. But uh, just you know, make sure it has oil and all the kinds of things that it should have uh, regular maintenance wise. So let me do that, and we'll get it on the track, and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I have the uh, <laughs> the brightly colored uh, blue marks uh, on the track here. This guy is really really sharp. I'm I'm excited to have this. Uh, I know that painting uh, locomotives, especially older ones, is uh, controversial, but uh, to, me, I, to my eye, this looks pretty nice, and I think this is probably pretty cool. So, what I noticed when I was servicing this is that there was no hint of oil or, or lubrication or anything. As a matter of fact, everything was just like spotlessly clean, which makes me wonder, if somebody didn't clean this up and paint it up, 
uh, for a shelf display or whatever. So uh, if this doesn't run, I'm not gonna be just like crazy surprised. <laughs> so uh, we'll see, I, I did get it uh, greased and lubricated in all the places that it needs to be. So we'll see. Um, I guess uh, the next thing to do is just try it out. I kind of talking because I'm nervous to see if it's gonna work, but uh, let's just see. Oh, hey, <laughs> all right, cool. I'm always happy when something works. So I've uh, got my bell hooked up. <laughs> uh, got a uh, flashing signal at the last train show as well. That maybe you can see uh, the bulb on uh, what would be the left-hand side, I guess. Rarely lights, uh, but it does light. So I think that maybe got a dirty connection or I don't know. I haven't had time to look at that just yet. All right, well, this guy runs pretty doggone good. I am doggone happy with that. All right, I'm gonna let it run here a few minutes and then we'll drop it down to the ground and we'll run it alongside something else to make it a little more interesting. Although that blue is pretty doggone interesting, uh, pretty stunning. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy that I bought this. Um, I am a little sad that it took so long to get here, but I guess uh, it just made it that much better when it got here. All right, guys, let's get it dropped down to the ground. I'm gonna run it alongside something that maybe you have or have not seen just yet. I uh, got an American Flyer diesel, a newer newer one, and I uh, repaired it the other night. I did a video on that, but I don't think I've yet done it, so probably nobody's seen it yet. So this will be a, a, a surprise first glimpse. So, all right, let's do it.
everybody. I think everybody can agree. agree. This new addition to our collection is beautiful. Wow. That, uh, that American Flyer, uh, I know you haven't seen the video yet, but uh, we did the repair on him, and he's, he's a nice addition as well. And of course, we'll, we'll finish up that video here just as soon as we can. So it's not your imagination uh, if you're paying attention. It, it is daylight now. It was uh, dark when I started this video. I got sleepy. <laughs> went to bed. <laughs> it happens. Um, anyway, I'm going to let these guys run around for just a minute or two more, and then we're going to call this about it. Can you imagine being a parent in the uh, 50s when that bell came out? <laughs> and, and, you know, I think I'm used about this in another video, but, uh, you know, uh, younger folks may not know this, but that's the way that uh, telephones used to ring. And, of course, you know, the telephones weren't portable. They were generally mounted in the house somewhere. So I can just imagine this, this driving some 50s mom or dad or family <laughs> insane. <laughs> thing in the telephone's ringing. Alright guys, I think this is about it for, for today. Uh, for our current subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. We could not do this without you guys. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Uh, really, you guys are the best. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, this is the time that I'm going to say uh, thank you and give it a like a thumbs up uh, that helps us on our metrics on uh, how these videos are pushed out so others can find them or see them so that's always helpful and we do appreciate that uh, if you made it this far in the video I'd also like to uh, thank you for that uh, one of the other metrics is how long that, uh, folks that visit your uh, YouTube video watch the video and frankly the uh, <laughs> the average is very very short um, not just for my videos for all videos uh, with the invention, with the invention, there we go, of <laughs> of the shorts on YouTube, uh, it seems that a lot of folks' uh, attention span has <laughs> decreased. So you really, really have to work hard to hold people's attention. Uh, you know, I I try to incorpor incorporate something into my video to offer a little bit of intrigue, but you know, uh, it, it is difficult. I know it's difficult to watch the <laughs> the entire video. Uh, so on cue, my Marxist decided that it's just going to go in reverse to offer a little bit of intrigue to keep you guys glued for a little while longer, I guess. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, with no further ado, I think this is about it for now. I think we're going to make the Marx go forward because that's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> All right, guys. GGS Railways out. <laughs>